Welcome back to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to set up a conversion campaign in Facebook Business Manager. The Facebook website conversion objective helps you grow business on your website. Whether you want page visits, sales, or another action, website conversion ads encourage people to go to your website and do something. A Facebook conversion campaign can be used to retarget potential customers to finish off a sale. You can use the Facebook pixel, which we installed in the previous video, to help gather data, which you can then use to retarget specific people in that audience through a conversion campaign. The first thing you need to do is go to business.facebook.com. Make sure you're in the correct ads accounts and click on the green create button. Here, under create new campaign, you wanna select conversions. And as you can see, conversion campaign will show your ads to people who are most likely to take valuable actions, such as making a purchase or adding payment info on your website, app, or in Messenger. So click on continue, and the first thing you need to do is give your campaign a name. The next thing you need to do is check if your ads will fall into the special ad categories. You're required to declare if your ads are related to social issues, elections, or politics, and you can simply do so by selecting from below. Next in the campaign details, you have the buying type, which is set to auction, and the campaign objective, which is conversions. If you would like to manage your budget at campaign level, you can simply turn it on here, and you can select a daily budget or a lifetime budget from here. You're then able to set it to whatever you want, and once you're happy with the layout of your campaign, you can go to ad set level by simply clicking it here. The first thing you need to do is give your ad set a name. Now you need to select where you want your conversion to take place. Are you looking to drive conversions on your website, app, messenger, or in WhatsApp? In this case, we're gonna go with website. As you can see, the pixel that we set up in the previous video has automatically been selected. We then need to select the conversion event that we'd like to drive people to in this ad. As this is a demo account, none of these conversion events have any recent activity, which is why there's a yellow warning sign. In this case, we want to track leads. So we're going to scroll down and select leads. You can use the Facebook pixel to track valuable actions that people take on your website and optimize ads for those actions. If you have not set up your conversions yet, you can click set up conversions and then select track conversions with standard events. Here you need to select your business type. In this case, we're going with other business category, and you'll need to copy the code into your website. Once you have done that, you can click on done, and your event will be set up. The next step is to set the budget and scheduling. So when do you want your ad to start running at a specific time, and when would you like it to end? You can simply change this by clicking on it, and you can change the time by simply typing in a new time. You then have an option to select an audience. Perhaps you have already created an audience using the pixel, which you set up to track specific data of people performing events on your website. In order to select that specific audience, you can use the drop down and select the audience. If you have not done that yet, you can simply create a new audience by searching or scrolling down and creating a new one by editing the location, the age, the genders you want to target, and in the detailed targeting, you can put in specific demographics, interests, or behaviors that you want to target. You then have the option to expand your reach by ticking this box. I would recommend clicking on save this audience so that you can use it again in the future. Keep in mind the audience definition on the side here. You want this needle to be somewhere in the green. If it's in the red, it means it's too specific. If it's in the yellow, it means it's too broad. So you want it to be somewhere in the green. You then need to choose where your ads are shown. You can choose automatic placements where Facebook decides where to show your ads. Or you can select manual placements and you have the option to tick or untick specific places that you don't want your ads to show. In this case, let's say we don't want to show our ads on Facebook Marketplace and we don't want to show our ads on the Instagram Explore page we can simply deselect them like that. If we don't want to show our ads anywhere on Messenger, we have the option to select the platform at the top, 
and if you scroll down, anything that has to do with Messenger has been deselected. Next is your optimization and delivery. As this is a conversion campaign, we want our optimization for ad delivery to be set to conversions. However, you can change this by clicking Edit and selecting a new one. Now we need to create our ad. Select on New Ad on the menu and give your ad a name. Select the correct Facebook page and Instagram page that you want your ads to show on. Now you have the option to create an ad, to use an existing post from your Facebook page, or use Creative Hub Mockup. Let's create an ad. In order to see our ad, we need to switch on Preview. And then we need to select the format that we want to use. So do we want a single image or video? Do we want a carousel ad? Or do we want a collection, which is a group of items that opens into a full screen mobile experience? Let's go with a single image or video in this case. You need to add your media by simply clicking on the box and clicking add media. You can then select from your already uploaded images, or you can upload a new image by clicking here. Once you've selected your image, you click next, and now you can select a crop for placements. So Facebook has recommended specific sizes, but if something does not fit, you can simply replace it with something else. Once you are happy with that, you can click next. Now you have the option to optimize your media. These optimizations will automatically adjust your creative when likely to improve performance. So image brightness and contrast, variable aspect ratio settings, if you want this on, you can click Allow Enhancements and then click Done. Now your image has been added to the different formats in the side. You can edit these at each level by clicking on the pencil or you can delete them. Now you need to add your primary text. Your primary text goes above your image. Try and keep this to a paragraph long. In this case, I'm going to go with one line just to give you an idea of what it will look like on Facebook. Next, you have the option to add a headline. A headline will come up at the bottom. You then have the option to add a description, which will show up below that. And then you can choose a call to action, which is the button that shows up below your image. In this case, I want to go with contact us as they're filling out a contact us form. And where do you want to send people to? So your website would need to go in here. You also have the option for an instant experience, which will send people to a fast loading mobile optimized experience or to a Facebook event, which might be an event on your page. Next, you can add a specific language if you only want your ads to be shown to a specific language. And then you have tracking options. Seeing as we have already selected this pixel and we are sending people to our website with this pixel, we're gonna leave it as is. You can now click the view more variations button and you'll see how your ad can show up across all the different placements. As you can see, we currently have a setup error. So if you scroll up, it will be here and it says no payment method. This is because this is a demo account. So we can ignore that for now. If you're happy with the way your ad is laid out, you can simply click publish. And once your ad has been approved, it is ready to go. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it at all helpful, please leave a like below to let us know or leave a comment below if there's something you want us to cover in a future video. Remember to subscribe to not miss any videos that we upload. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.